What's good, y'all? It's Gamma Kai. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to down subscribe as many subscriber helps. Over here on this channel, we talk about the NBA daily. So if you enjoy the NBA as much as I do, please subscribe. And you know, if you like the video, like the video, you know, you know all that stuff I'll be saying. But yo, the Philadelphia 76ers just flamed out of the playoffs in the second round as the first seed to the Atlanta Hawks. And I'm just really, really, I'm not even disappointed. I'm not even shocked. No, no, I am shocked, but I'm not disappointed or angry. I'm just sad because they did all that tanking. Like, my my entire time watching basketball, seriously, I, like, since, since I've been watching the NBA for real since, like, you know, 2012, 2013, the Philadelphia 76ers have been the laughing stock of the NBA. They tank year after year after year. They grab, you know, all these first round picks. They grab all these, you know, lottery, like top three picks. They draft Markel Fultz. They draft Ben Simmons. They draft, you know, Joel Embiid, Jaleel Okafor, Nerlens Noel. They drafted all these dudes. And the most they can do after that process is done is a second round exit to the fifth seed in the NBA. That is disgusting. That is just horrible. And I don't even know what to say about that. But this video is not about that. This video is about Kyle Lowry. And I know I don't talk about the Raptors a lot on this channel. I don't talk about Kyle Lowry a lot, but I am I do watch Raptors basketball. I'm a, you know, low key part of Raptors Twitter on on, you know, Twitter. And I love I love Kyle Lowry. What he does is special, what he does is amazing. But for the Philadelphia 76ers at the trade deadline to say, nah, we're good to Kyle Lowry because they didn't want to give up Tyrese Maxey. For them to say we're good and then flame out in the second round to the Hawks has to be one of the funniest things, one of the funniest examples of karma coming to bite somebody you know, in league history because Kyle Lowry, what could he have done to help this Philadelphia 76ers team? They needed half-court creation. They needed a half-court off the dribble creation. They needed somebody who's not a liability. <coughs> They needed somebody who's not a liability in the half court. They needed somebody who can shoot threes. They needed somebody who can get to the rack. And they needed somebody who can, you know, feed the ball to Joel Embiid efficiently. And, you know, hit all the shooters efficiently. Now, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is out of there. If I'm Daryl Morey, who's the GM of the Philadelphia 76ers, if I'm Daryl Morey, there's no way that Ben Simmons is in a 76ers uniform this time next season. There's no way that Ben Simmons is a sixer in October. Because after what he just did, I don't think Ben Simmons scored over 10 in the last four games of this series. Like, your second star, your, your all-star, your first team all, your first team all defense NBA. That's the guy that's not scoring more than 10 points. That's the guy who can't hit a free throw. I mean, this is outrageous. Like, why? Why can't he shoot? Like, I know why he can't shoot. Obviously, you know, he didn't grow up shooting. He grew up athletic. So he didn't really focus on, you know, sh you know, developing a jump shot. But this is just sad, man, because Joel Embiid on torn meniscus. I cannot blame any of this on Joel Embiid. I cannot blame any of this, these losses on Joel Embiid because what happened, right? All them comebacks, it all stems from him being tired. He comes out in the first half. He scores, you know, 25, 30 points in the first half. Now he did that while doing all basically post-up isolations. Posting up takes a lot of energy away, especially against Click Capella, who's a really, really strong, big dude. So imagine you have to post up for, how long does it have in the NBA? 24 minutes against Click Capella. Imagine doing that. And then they want you to do it for another 24 minutes in the second half. Obviously things are gonna change, but that's not the point of this video. I keep getting no track because Philly just blows my mind. I just don't get it. But Kyle Lowry this season, 17 points, five rebounds, seven assists. That would look beautiful next to Joel Embiid. They didn't have to give up Ben Simmons for Kyle. Like, if, if you know, if Masao Jerry, the GM of the Raptors, if he asked for Ben Simmons back for Kyle Lowry, I understand saying no. But he asked for Tyrese Max, he asked for Matisse Thalbo, and he asked for some first round picks. You can't give that up to maximize your championship window this year because I don't think the Philadelphia 76ers are going to have, you know, as easy of a path as they had this year. They played the Wizards in the first round. Then they go to play, they were going to play the winner of Knicks Hawks. They are way better than the Atlanta Hawks. I don't care who won. The Philadelphia 76ers are a more talented team. They just folded, right? and that's just gross. But the theme with Kyle Lowry this season is that he's too old, he's asking for too much money, and he's not that good. I don't know where that narrative came from, but the, the Los Angeles Lakers are another team that you know decided to not trade for Kyle Lowry. They said, you know, we're good. We're gonna have LeBron AD come back, and everything's gonna be fine. But the reason that they didn't trade for him always irks my soul because Taylor Horton Tucker, 
They let the clout of, a, of about four preseason games, they let that determine that they didn't want to trade for this all-star point guard. Once again, 17 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. Why in God's name are you not trading for that when LeBron James is 36 years old and both LeBron and AD are injured? Don't you think adding another star will help alleviate some of the pressure and take away some of the pressure from LeBron and AD? Don't you want LeBron to play off the ball more? Don't you want a true, true point guard to really be with AD when LeBron sits down? Like, I don't, the thought process behind these teams not trading for Kyle Lowry just baffles me because Kyle Lowry is still an all-star point guard. He still has that all-star impact. He's a great defender, great passer. He can shoot the three. He can get to the rim. He's just an all-around, all-time impactful dude. And I just don't understand how you can say no when all they're asking for is one of your young guys. Like, Taylor Horton Tucker, don't get me wrong. I like his game, you know. He's, he's going to be a fine player, but you don't not trade for Kyle Lowry. You don't not trade for an all-star because Taylor Horton Tucker scored 25 points in the preseason game. You don't do that. That's just, that's wrong. And finally, the ones who I don't really blame the most for this, the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat, they just lost in four games. They were the only team, I think, in this first round of the playoffs to get swept. And they got swept because Bam Adebayo was too scared to shoot, and Jimmy Butler just had an awful, awful series. And, you know, they weren't really shooting the ball well either. And the, ball, the Milwaukee Bucks were, you know, too much for them. But, yeah, man, had they traded for Kyle Lowry, I think that they would have battled more with the Milwaukee Bucks. They still might have lost because I don't – I don't think that Kyle, Jimmy, and Bam is going to, you know, some outright finals contender. I think that's a good team and all that. But around them, I'm not too psyched about, you know, Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson. Like, that's that's fine, but nah. Like, the, I give Miami the biggest pass for not trading for Kyle Lowry because this right now isn't like a huge, huge, crazy win-now situation. But actually, nah, it is a win-now situation because Jimmy Butler is... He's getting up there in age and his game does not age well because he can't really shoot like that. So his game relies on athleticism. So as he ages, the athleticism is going to get worse and worse and worse. But the, the Miami Heat held the best player out of all three teams, out of the Lakers, the Heat, and the 76ers. Tyler Hero was the best young prospect between, you know, Taylor Horn Tucker and Tyrese Maxey. I think I cut them the most slack. But still, when you have the chance to trade for an all-star, an all-star point guard who's gonna help you win, you know, win games right now. I don't care how good Tyler Hero could be. Tyler Hero to me can't be, Tyler Hero to me most likely will not ever be as good as Kyle Lowry is right now. And that's just the truth, but yeah, man, the Kyle Lowry curse is real. Like he's really haunting these scenes because every single team that said, you know, nah, we're good. We're gonna keep our young guy. We're gonna keep our picks. Every single team that did that is now sitting in Cancun, sipping margaritas out of a coconut. and. It, this is just sad, man, because it was just so simple. All you had to do is give up Tyrese Maxey. All you had to do is give up Taylor Horn Tucker. All you had to do is give up Tyler Hero. That's nothing crazy to me. Like, these should not be the reasons. Like, the one that makes me the most sick is Taylor Horn Tucker because I like Tyrese Maxey. I like Tyler Hero. Taylor, what, is, what has Taylor Horn Tucker done to have the, that amount of clout to stop, to hold up a trade for an All-Star? Why is THT the guy who stops that up? That will always be baffling to me, but... The impact Kyle Lowry could have had on these teams, he could have been a great playmaker, he could have been a great half-court creator, half-court, you know, passer. He could have been a great dude for any of these for any of these guys. And, you know, the Lakers, they say, you know, if AD wasn't hurt, then we would have beat the Suns, and I believe that too. But when you know you have a fragile, injury-prone type dude like that, you want to stack the deck as much as possible. Like, adding Kyle Lowry for the price of Taylor Horton Tucker, probably Dennis, and, you know, a couple first-round picks, I don't mind that, but, you know, it is what it is. Kyle Lowry, you the GOAT. Kyle Lowry, I can't wait to see where he goes this offseason. But, yeah, man, if you see it in this video, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.